Weather Center. Sometimes they're in the classroom. Meteorologist Steve Fandero spent the morning with the second graders at Linkhorn Park Elementary in Virginia Beach. The kiddos learned all the tricks and trades of making a forecast, as well as how thunderstorms can produce lightning, hail, and even tornadoes. Sounds like a full morning. It was a fun morning, about 100 second graders there. Surprised I still have a voice because we like to get very enthusiastic <laughs> when we're talking about the weather. That was a great group of kiddos, too. They were super enthused. They were paying attention. Yes. They were asking questions. Love that. Which is great. But we didn't get to answer all the questions. So got a couple here with me now. I'm going to walk over to the weather band because they it. also have some pictures <laughs> that they drew that we need to show as well. Katenda asked me this question here. Very important one. How can we know that it's going to rain? We went over this during the school talk too. We have to find the clouds. We got to look for where the clouds are. We could look at the radar to see where the rain is and where it's going, how fast it's moving. Is it coming this way? Also the dew points as well. That's a good measure of moisture in the air. That's going to tell us if it is still capable of raining. But also most importantly, I think this, we have to find the clouds that are smiling like Katenda drew there. There's a the picture there. And then Cameron here asked a great question. What is my favorite type of weather? And it's the weather we have right now, post cold front weather. Cold front moved in today and then we had the cool breeze come in and that's that dry, cool air with the sunshine. Just a few passing clouds, fresh is how it felt today. And the temperatures did rebound a little bit with the sunshine close to 70 degrees. So it was a little warmer and felt nice, uh, but much cooler than yesterday. We've got 60s and already dealing with some 50s, some inland locations here. So behind a cold front, as the kiddos learned this morning, is the cold air. And that is coming in tonight. And it will be a little bit chilly as we see the inland locations drop to the low 40s. And most of the region going to be in the 40s. That 50 degree low temperature might be the warm spot. That's at Norfolk and uh, right around the waterways of um, the north end of VB. So we've got low 40s for most of northeast North Carolina. Temperatures near 50 in Nags Head, maybe a bit higher than that. We're near 50 in Norfolk and Virginia Beach, Portsmouth as well. But look at Chesapeake at 41, Suffolk, Franklin, Smithfield and Wakefield uh, uh, in the upper 30s there. We've got 45, 42 degrees on the eastern shore. And Newport News, Hampton, low to mid 40 is going to be a bit chilly to start off your day on Friday here on the peninsula and for most of the region. But a bright day is expected yet again post cold front. It's going to be a beautiful one here. We've got temperatures in the afternoon rebounding close to 70, similar to today, but we're not going to have the breeze like we did today. Notice the wind shift west northwest in the afternoon and then later in the day it starts to shift out of the southwest. That provides us with a warmer or milder Saturday morning. We're going to start Saturday in the 50s. So one little cold shot here for Friday morning. Then temps will rebound Saturday, probably in the low 70s before front number two comes in. That one's going to come in between Saturday and Sunday. No rain with it, and it's starting to move in a little earlier on Saturday around lunchtime, so it's going to throw us just passing clouds throughout the day and then pulls in that cooler air for us on Sunday. So a bit of a weekend split, but plenty of dry time to get out and about because we don't expect rain anytime soon. I don't expect rain even with this front on the way this weekend. Just some clouds passing through the region Saturday morning. Maybe a sprinkle for the peninsulas, but that's the best we could do. We'll just be dealing with passing clouds on Saturday with the front passing through and the winds then shifting out of the north. So by the end of the day, things will start to cool down a little bit and then probably cool down quickly into Sunday and Monday of next week. And look, we're dry. Dry patterns are going to hold all the way through next week. So the spooky cast for Halloween looks promising. The area high pressure behind the cold front settles in over the first few days of next week, and then it moves offshore towards the end of the week. We're on the back side of it, so that means a southerly breeze will have us with some passing clouds and a warmer Halloween. Temperatures going to be back in the 70s, but with no rain anytime soon, we're going to solidify this month here as as the third driest on record. Look at the seven day, not a raindrop on it.